what is up guys Saprox here and welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to be talking about the transportation systems that are available at IU Bloomington what are the most popular choices of transportation among the students and etc so let's dive into it Okay, so starting off with the first and foremost that is your bus systems. So IU Bloomington it has two major bus systems that is the IU Campus Bus Service. Now the IU Campus Bus Service has a lot of routes and it covers mostly the whole IU Campus and many students use it and it is very affordable and it's completely free of charge to students and everyone who resides in Bloomington. The second option is a Bloomington Transit Bus System. Now Bloomington Transit is a public bus system which runs here in Bloomington and it covers mostly the whole of Bloomington. It has plenty of routes. I will be providing the links down in the description for you guys to open it up and check what are the routes and everything. So Bloomington Transit buses, they are also free for IU students. You just need your IU Crimson card that this is a proof that you are a student of IU and you just show this card and it's just free for you. And if you're not a IU student, then I think it's a dollar for a ride or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, for most cases it's free completely if you're a student of the IU. But yeah, these two major bus systems, that is the IU Campus Bus Service and the Bloomington Transit Bus System, they cover mostly everywhere you need to go. And many students, I would say most students use it. I use it frequently and the buses, they are very frequent. And during the summers and during holidays, the frequency reduces down a bit, but it's still a very viable option. Let's talk about the second option that is cabs. Now cabs are very popular here and in Bloomington the two most popular cab services are Lyft and Uber. Cabs are a very popular choice among the students and the university actually provides us a lot of, not just university, the university and also Bloomington Transit, it provides us with a lot of passes, that is cab passes, which is beneficial to the student. The first pass I'm going to talk about is a BT late night pass and that pass it actually allows you to have one dollar cabs that is in Lyft and and the pass timings are I think weekdays from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. so yeah it's a very popular choice among students so many people use it I've used it so many times so yeah that's a very popular way to get around the second pass is called IU rides and that is actually provided by Indiana University itself and that pass also it like takes off six dollars completely from your total bill and that I think the timings for that pass is from 11 to 3 a.m. in the night. So, so yeah, cabs are also a very viable option for students here at IU Bloomington and uh, with all these passes, it becomes more viable. So all these passes, they generally have like a coverage area like within the your pickup and your drop off needs to be within this coverage area. Otherwise, you will not get the pass. But it, the coverage area is generally very, like very generous, very big and it covers most of Bloomington and most hotspots for students. So yeah. Okay, so the third option we're going to talk about are electric scooters and electric bikes. As you know, electric scooters and electric bikes are very popular, not just here in I Bloomington, I guess at every major college town, it's very popular. Now here in Bloomington, we have three companies that are very popular, that is your Bird, Lime, and view so the costs are pretty much the same for all the companies it's generally i use bird a lot so for bird it is one dollar to start your vehicle and then 39 cents on top of that per minute of riding and then after you've completed your trip uh, there are some taxes and all that on top of that so yeah compared to other options it's a bit costly i would say but if you have no other option you can of course like make use of an electric bike or a scooter they are like they come in pretty handy at times then i would like to talk about shuttle services the two most uh, popular shuttle services here in bloomington they are uh, go express and greyhound now go express is mainly used by students if they are looking for a shuttle to go to the indianapolis airport or they are wanting a shuttle back from Indianapolis Airport to Bloomington so Go Express is the most popular choice for that and Greyhound is mostly used by students if they are making like long trips like from Bloomington to Chicago or from Bloomington to Atlanta like to major cities which are like far away and these shuttle services are also very very cheap for students they're very affordable very viable now let's talk about some other options which are available which students uh, use regularly uh, one option can be bicycles I know a lot of my friends they own bicycles and bicycles come in like around 100 or 150 dollars if you're looking for a good bicycle and bicycles there in us they are like designated biking lanes 
beside every road so it's like it's a very pleasurable experience if you are like having a bike and going down on bike trips and the second option is actually owning a car your own personal or private car and the gas prices here in bloomington are like i think relatively cheaper so yeah owning a car it just makes your life so easy you can just get to anywhere like you can drive to there and driving in bloomington is a very pleasant experience because the roads are so good and there is no traffic at all most of the times so yeah owning a car just makes your life so easy so yeah that's all about the transportation systems that are available here in bloomington so if you are a student here at iu bloomington or if you are coming to iu bloomington in the recent times these are all the transportation systems vehicles whatever that you will be using to get from one point to another so yeah with that being said if you like this video give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe like a snare and and i'll see you guys in the next one till then peace out